What's up guys and welcome, it's Inferno Kun here today with my Q&A number 7. Welcome, it's the Q&A where I answer questions about Telltale or anything in general. So if you have a question, put it down below in this video or on Twitter using the hashtag AskTheInfernoKun. Anyways, about the Season 3 predictions, there were kind of more people wanting them than not wanting them. So I decided to just go ahead and make a little compromise. I'm not going to do like in-depth Season 3 predictions. I'm gonna be like, you know, post-production discussions, like, stuff like, you know, protagonist area, the ending, stuff like that, so, I will keep it, like, not too real predictions, but just more like discussions about what could happen, or what's gonna happen, not really predicting what's gonna happen, but just discuss about it, but anyways, moving on to the Q&A, first question coming from Jack, asking, where are your feelings of the announcement of the Telltale Minecraft game? I made a video about this, of course, it was before I made it, but I just wanted to answer it anyway. You know, it is such a weird game, I don't approve of it, I don't really want it, but if it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out, and I might as well go ahead and play it. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna, you know, enjoy it at all, but, you know, it's, it is Telltale. They make great games, I love them, they're my favorite company, studio, whatever, and I'm gonna support them, but this wasn't really a good game choice on their side for me at least i'm being negative i'm being so negative right now but hey i'm not really supporting it i don't really think it's a good idea but i'm gonna go ahead and buy it anyway and play it and see how it is keep an open mind to it but anyways moving on next question coming from mag squad nate asking who do you like better vaughn or sasha i like sasha better she is more into guns and stuff like that she's more of the tough type she can handle herself Vaughn, I like Vaughn a lot. He's very, very, very funny, very smart, very awesome, a great fan, a friend. And Sasha, she's more of a hardened criminal type. She's pretty awesome, handling stuff with guns and everything else. So I definitely do like Sasha better as a you know person who can handle herself and everything else. But like Vaughn better as a friend hardcore friend like on my free side i like you know vaughn but as fiona i like sasha so you know anyways sasha wins overall next question you ask is who do you like better claptrap or the loader bot i like loader bot better i think claptrap he is funny but he gets a lot of annoying moments he's just so annoying i don't like claptrap like everyone else does i think he's pretty weird and loader bot wasn't really weird he was just pretty much awesome and he can actually fight or shoot people that's what the bots do so we definitely love the bot the question you ask is do you think tales from the borderlands will get a season two i highly doubt that for some reason i don't see telltale actually doing a season two maybe if it's successful and it has a somewhat you know expandable ending they might do a season two but i don't really see them doing it if it doesn't sell well or if it doesn't get a lot of hype like the other games do but you know i really hope they make a season two anyway moving on this question you ask is do you think wolf among us will get a season two definitely it has to get a season two with the amount of hype people are wanting to get a season two Telto cannot ignore us for any longer you know they just like it's more like you know fans are wanting a second season and the first season did extremely well with the ratings and stuff like that. I don't see any reason why they don't they won't make a season two or anything else, but I really hope they do. Moving on, the question you asked from Jack asking favorite musician, musical group, or artist definitely has to be Eminem. I like his rap style. And this one coming from JSRTV. I've been saying JSRTV. It's JRSTV. Sorry. What would you do if you have a million dollars? There are a lot of things I would do if I had that kind of money. Definitely would buy a lot of stuff for YouTube, my computer, you know, new monitors and everything else. Definitely would put it into maybe my house and everything. Would definitely re recreate my room. Because I really want it to be more, well, bigger and more sound proof walls, please. Okay, anyways. This one you ask is what is your most favorite game console? It would definitely be the PlayStation 2. That console was definitely one of the best for me. It had a bunch of great games, mostly 
the Dragon Ball Z games. I loved them games, and PS2 just really had a lot of fun on that. So definitely a simple console, but it was a lot of fun. Moving on, a question coming from Alexandria Diaz asking, "What is your favorite protagonist on a Telltale game?" It would definitely be Clementine. I was thinking Bigby, but now it has to be Clementine, seeing as how Clementine grew up for so long and we've been with her for two seasons. And I feel like she's more of a stronger protagonist and we've been with her for a long time. So definitely Clementine has to be, has to be my favorite protagonist. The question coming from you asking, do you think that we will have to choose between Reese and Fiona in episode 5? of Tales from, from the Borderlands. I don't really think so because, you know, how can you choose, like how can, you, like we're playing as those two characters, how can you choose between one as the other, like, what? Well, makes no sense, like, if we're playing as either Reese or Fiona, how are we gonna choose which one lives while as the other one, I don't know, maybe have one sacrifice themselves or something? It could probably work, but I don't really, I don't really think so. They might actually, you know, have a fight to the death because from the the slide for episode five, they're about to go in, like about to get into a fight or something like that. But you know, we have to see. I don't really think so. I think there probably could be a fight or something like that. But you know, time only tells. Next one you ask is, who do you think will be the fifth playable character in Game of Thrones? I think for some reason it. Possibly, maybe not, could be Roderick Forrester. I know we quote unquote saw him die in episode one. You know, he got stabbed in the leg and got, we well, got like, you know, the horse fell on him. I know it kind of seemed that way, but I don't really think that he's dead because he, who makes a character, no way, tell to us, but who makes a character who has no lines, who seems to have an importance. And they just die right in the first, you know, 15 minutes of the episode. It kind of seems a bit weird to me. I think that he probably could be alive. I know the horse kind of weigh a lot of pounds because it's a war horse and everything else. So, not really sure if he would have made it out there alive. You know, he could have faked his death and just, like, stayed there until the phrase actually left the area and then escaped that way. But he would have some broken bones or something like that. So... I possibly think that it could be Roderick for some reason. If not, then I don't know who else. Maybe Malcolm, like you said. Or maybe, you know, someone else that's in Iron Wrath that can actually just be there. But my thing about Malcolm is we're going, Malcolm's going to Asher. So that playable character is going to get another playable character. I don't really see that happening because, you know, having two playable characters in the same place doesn't really seem to... We it seems weird to me for the most part because like I you know for the from the Borderlands that makes sense because they're you know partners but here everyone's all spread out like you know we have Mirror and King's Landing we have you know we we had um Ethan in Iron Wrath then we had Garrett in somewhere else like he was like you know he was in Iron Wrath now he's on the King's Road again and he's going to the Wall. But then we have Asher in Essos. So I don't really see them actually, you know, having two playable characters in the same place. Probably someone that's more spread out. So maybe somebody that's not really in any of the locations we have been to or something like that. But anyway, moving on, the question you ask is, if you could pick anything and turn it into a Telltale game, what would that be? Definitely... Breaking Bad, I don't really see, like, you know, what kind of storyline they can make because the story of the show went down so drastically and crying and stuff happened. But anyways, definitely would want it to be Breaking Bad. I don't know how they would actually make the storyline, but Toto could actually come up with something that would be pretty interesting about cooking some meth and dealing with some bad guys while selling your meth. So, anyways, next one coming from Alan. Asking if you could choose the end for for Kenny, who would you think to find Lily, Arvo, Mike, or coming out of the blue Molly? Maybe Lily is no 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 no. I think Mike and Arvo because they're, because they're like together. I don't really see you know 
I mean, they had the most most chance of finding them because they were kind of in the area of which they separated. Lily and Molly, I don't really think so. So I think Mike and Arva would have a more chance of running into Kenny than Lily or Molly has at this point. Moving on, the question coming from Eon asking, would you save Luke or I'm pretty sure you're saying Luke or Jane in The Walking Dead? Definitely Jane. You know that answer. Luke was pretty cool sometimes. Jane's pretty cool all the time. So, you know, definitely Jane. Next question coming from The Legend Gamer asking, which character do you think is the best from the Telltale games? Definitely would have to be Bigby. I found him to be a awesome character. Just so many awesome things he's been through in The Wolf Among Us. It just defines his character as being total badass. And I love that. It's just, he's just so awesome. Definitely one of my favorite characters Telltale has made in any other series, to be honest. And Big B totally wins that. So, next question coming from Venom asking, do or did the ending for Telltale Game of Thrones episode 1 surprise you? Definitely. Watch, the, watch my reaction to it. It definitely surprised me. Did I see that coming? I think I did see it coming, but you know, wasn't really expecting it to happen. Cause I'm usually wrong about the endings, but it happened, and I was sad, and it was just so surprising. Why, Ethan? Why? Your next question you ask is, which Telltale game do you prefer? Now, The Walking Dead season two and one actually went without a doubt, but since Tales from the Borderlands has not finished up, I can't really say which one that I prefer yet because Tales from the Borderlands is the only one. That could actually surpass my love for The Walking Dead. I love Tales from the Borderlands. I think it can actually surpass my love for The Walking Dead. I really do. And I can't wait for the other episodes so I can actually decide on how much it can actually win my heart over. So, next one you ask is, who is your favorite character in Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones would have to be Garrett Tuttle right now. Because, you know, I think Asher might take that over when we meet him. Because Asher looks like a badass. So... Definitely right now it will be Garrett. In Tales from the Borderlands, it would be Sasha. I find her pretty awesome. I answered why I like her back in some other questions, so refer to that. She's pretty awesome. Handle herself. Likes guns. More importantly, she likes SMGs. I love SMGs. And she likes other weapons, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, Wolf Among Us will definitely be Bluebeard. I found Bluebeard to be an interesting character because of his past, but we never, but we didn't get to actually brush up on that in the series that much you know he came in a few times he was gonna have a spotlight in episode four being the mayor of fable town but that didn't happen and i was like so disappointed so definitely bluebeard i hope he gets spotlight in season two if that happens come on we need more bluebeard in season two so the question coming from creepercraft asking out of all the locations in game of thrones where would you live? I'll probably live like in one of those slave cities that Daenerys Targaryen actually took over and free all the slaves. I probably live in one of those because they're free now. And probably it would be Yunkai or that city that she's actually stationed in right now because we have the protection of the what's it called the Unsolid. So we definitely want to be in a safe place because I don't trust King's Landing or anywhere else. Probably somewhere. You can actually feel safe because everyone's scared of Khaleesi. So, you know, definitely would probably live there. Next one coming from TDM Shadow asking, Game of Thrones or Tales from the Borderlands? Now, I would definitely choose Tales from the Borderlands because I like that series a lot more. The episode one caught me more than episode one of Game of Thrones did. So definitely would choose the Borderlands series. Then you ask, what are some good pickup lines? Now, I have one, and I suggest that you use it in a secluded area, okay? So, like, be like, if you were meth, I would snort you all day. That's all. Just make sure no cops are around. Then you ask, do you sell meth? If yes, can you send me some? We discussed this. I want 10 Gs per pound, okay? Anyways, then you ask, how did you find out that Santa wasn't real? I always knew he wasn't real because my parents, more specifically my dad, was always so real about, you know, who Santa and what and why and how. And the fact that I also stayed up all night 
on Christmas just to see what was going on in the living room where my tree was. So I definitely would just, you know, see that. And my dad, once I got about, I guess, 11 or something like that, he just, you know, flat out told me. And I didn't really suspect it not to be because I already knew from a while ago. So that's how, I guess. Moving on, this one coming from Jordan asking, Do you think Clementine will be even more badass in Season 3? Like having her use bigger guns like rifles and machine guns. Now, I can definitely see Toto actually making her more badass without using bigger guns. Like how she handles melee weapons like, you know, a sword or knives, machetes, stuff like that. But until she gets more, like, stronger and more capable to actually handle a rifle because, you know, we saw what happened. When she used it for the first time, I don't really see her using like a rifle for a while. Maybe she could actually handle a machine gun, but probably not a rifle. So definitely would like to see her more badass using different weapons and stuff like that. What do you think will be the main Telltale game? Like how Walking Dead was the main over the Wolf Among Us. Borderlands or Game of Thrones? Definitely Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a bigger series because it has a larger fan base and larger player base. So... Definitely has to be that series, mostly because of the fact that they, I think they probably confirmed multiple seasons, so definitely has to be Game of Thrones. Question from Abby Lovely Angel asking, who do you like better, Reese or Fiona? Personally, I think I like Reese better because he's, uh, he's really funny, he shows potential, and he really is an awesome character. Then you ask the questions, I already answered them, Tell from the Borderlands and Sasha, so definitely... That's pretty much it. Question from Video Gamer asking, will you play any Call of Duty games? Nope, because I don't like Call of Duty and I won't be playing that game or any of the games at all. So definitely a no. Then you ask, will you will you a GTA 5 playthrough? I already played the game on my Xbox, so I won't be playing it on my channel at all. And then you ask, where are you from? I'm from the United States of America. Not gonna be any more specific because you know why not. Anyways, then you ask Game of Thrones with Among Us Walking Dead, which is your favorite? Why didn't you add Tales from the Borderlands? I am very offended at that. You know, very offended. Okay, definitely would be Walking Dead because that series is pretty much awesome. Tales from the Borderlands might beat it for me. We'll see. And then the last question coming from Ryan asking, what is your favorite GTA game? Definitely has to be GTA 5. I had more fun on that one than all the others. And then you ask, what is your opinion on GTA Vice City? I have no opinion because I had not played that GTA game. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a thumbs up and be sure to ask some more questions revolving around Telltale games or any in general. Stay tuned for some more discussions coming up about The Walking Dead Season 3, Tales from the Borderlands, and Game of Thrones. We'll be doing more of those. Should actually be coming out very soon, probably at least two to three a week, so stay tuned to that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.